Oh, a bit of a scary situation uh, this morning with Mark Andrews. Let's read the statement directly from the Baltimore Ravens. It says, Mark Andrews was involved in a car accident while driving to the Under Armour Performance Center early Wednesday morning. Andrews was evaluated by medical staff at the Ravens training facility and did not sustain any apparent injuries. He later joined the team for morning meetings. Man, like... What a guy, man. Because remember, Mark Andrews, like, he got, like, he's just somebody that's just special, like, straight up. Remember last year, um, during the offseason, he, like, he, he saved somebody's life on a plane. And now this year, he gets into a car accident. Most of us, if we're on the way to work and we get into a car accident, we're like, oh, nope, my day is done. No, I'm, I'm straight. I ain't going into work. I'm calling out today. They'll understand I got into a car accident. But Mark Andrews said, no. I got into a car accident, and I'm still going to work. I'm going to still show up. So shout out to Mark Andrews for being an amazing person, but shout out to Mark Andrews for having an amazing work ethic. Well, let's continue with the statement from the Baltimore Ravens. It says, Mark was originally scheduled for a non-practice day on Wednesday and is expected to return to practice in the coming days. So understandable. Mark Andrews get a couple of days off from practicing no pro I don't think anybody in the world is going to or should have a problem with that because if any of y'all have ever been into a car accident I know for a time that I have it's immediately like when you just get into the accident sometimes you don't really feel it you don't really feel what might be wrong with your wrist and that that's what happened with me got into the car accident and I ain't feel nothing and I remember my uncle was like, oh, you, you should go to the hospital. I was like, no, nah, I'm straight. I don't feel nothing. And then the people at my job were like, no, you, you should go to the hospital. I was like, no, nah, I don't feel nothing. And then a couple hours later, boy, my wrist started hurting like crazy. Um, so you, you, you may not feel it right away. You may, it may take a little bit to feel the after effects. So with Mark Andrews getting a couple days or however long he's going to get off, it's definitely well-deserved and it's smart too because say for instance he's practicing he's in the middle of practice and something really starts aching something really starts not feeling well you you want to make sure you rule out that being associated with football and that being associated with the accident but if he's home he's not practicing he's taking the time off then and, and he does start to maybe not feel so well maybe feel a little bit sore in a certain area or whatnot then you could be like okay that's from the car accident let's deal with that accordingly let's handle that accordingly so it just makes sense that he is not going to be practiced. And, and again, like nobody is above anything, but it ain't like Mark Andrews, like this, these practices in preseason are super crucial for Mark Andrews. Obviously, being in the second year of this new offense uh, under Todd Monk and with Lamar Jackson, him and Isaiah Likely and whatnot, they've been doing their thing. But that you want them to get even more comfortable, even more familiar with each other. But I mean, Mark Andrews, I think out of everybody on the Baltimore Ravens, Mark Andrews is the most familiar with Lamar Jackson. They have the best connection out of everybody, like by far, like I don't think anybody is even close. So yeah, I think he'll be all right if he misses a couple of practices. That, that that's completely fine, but it's understandable as well. And also, statement from uh, Mark Andrews. He said, "I appreciate everyone's thoughts and well wishes. This is a great reminder about the importance of wearing seatbelts and remaining alert while driving a car." So um yeah that's that's true because well, I'm sure we've all seen it I'm sure we've all even taken place in it one time or another to where people are not so alert uh we may our phone may go off while we're driving text message and we may look down real quick oh okay da, da, da. may even respond too but that's not uh the best move especially while you drive in the car if you had a red light real quick uh, but still it, the, the way that i i think and I, I need to do this a, a lot better myself if it's a text message then it ain't that important to look at while you're driving anyway if it's a text message if somebody texts you about whatever and they didn't call you then that means it can wait it ain't that important because they just they just wrote it and that's that if they were call you, calling you then that would mean that it had a lot more urgency but anyway we don't need to turn this into a geico or progressive commercial or anything like that but yeah man um we glad that mark andrews is good we're glad that he is safe and i'm not sure because we we, again, we don't have the information yet um on if this was just a one person car accident 
It doesn't sound like it because if he said that, uh, that's why it's important to wear your seatbelt and to stay alert. It sounds like maybe somebody else may have crashed into it. This is just my assumption from his part of the statement. But um, it sounds like it may have been a two car accident. Who, who knows? But glad that Mark Andrews is good. And hopefully if there was somebody else that was involved in the car accident as well, Hopefully they're good too. Hopefully everybody involved, whoever was involved, if there was anybody else involved in addition to Mark Andrews, hopefully they're doing just as good as Mark Andrews is too. But yeah, man, shout out to him and glad that everything is a okay.